Our last speaker before the break is Yvette Harvey, speaking about rhododendron yakush, yakushim... Na, don't, don't even bother. <laughs> it's all you. Right, I, I now I pronounce it rhododendron yakushimanum koichero hoda. Uh, and I do apologise in advance. I've broken the golden rule of never drinking fizzy pop before giving a presentation. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, I work with a number of curators in the Herbarium of the Royal Horticultural Society based at Wisley, and our acronym is WSY. And I can say that, without shadow of doubt, this is the best herbarium collection in the world <laughs> for modern UK ornamental plants. So although the collection um, is renowned for its oh, better move on. Uh, although the collection is renowned for its really beautiful specimens, this one has multiple stories for us to share with our visitors to the garden at Wisley. And in case you're wondering, the flowers are actually apple blossom pink when in bud and white in maturity. So I'm going to completely ignore any nomenclature or the fact that it's a nomenclature standard, which is another issue entirely for cultivated plants. But I'll go into what some of the stories. So the ancestors of this plant, or probably its parents, began their lives on Yakushima, which is a small and very mountainous island just south of Kyushu in Japan. From there, they, were, they made their way into the Hakanima nurseries of Japan, owned by Koichiro Wada, who remains one of the most famous modern Japanese plant breeders. In 1934, it was listed in the catalogue and purchased for the princely sum of 10 shillings, which the equivalent today is £68 or $89. And it was purchased by Lionel de Rothschild, and he is actually a relative of the Rothschild of Tring. But anyway, um, he owned a magnificent garden that was well renowned for rhododendrons at Exbury. And so the plants made their way, he bought two plants and they made their way back to Exbury under the, the, care, the loving care of the head gardener, Francis Hanger. So we, if we roll on a few years, in 1947, Francis Hanger left Exbury and he headed and he became the first curator of the garden at Wisley. And this is not a curator in the, the, the way that we know it. I mean, we are curators. He was, he was a head gardener and that was the title that he was given. So he brought with him the prettiest of the two plants that de Rothschild had purchased. Um, so the Wisley plant was given the cultivar name Koichiro Wada in honour of the breeder and the cultivar achieved the award of gardening merit in 1993 and in 2016 it was placed first in a poll of the top 100 rhododendrons for the centenary by the Rhododendron, Camellia and Magnolia group. But moving away from, uh, shall we say, a male part of the story, the specimen was actually collected by E.K. Janakia Mal, the RHS's first female scientist, and she was a leading cytologist of her day and made, it, and made the specimen as a voucher for her chromosome studies. Alas, ooh, what have I done? It's not quite there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, alas, she had she'd faced rather male opposition to her career in India, and even though she had produced a major contribution to the to a uh, higher yielding strain of sugarcane that had thrived in the Indian climate, anyway, she moved to the UK during the Blitz, which I think to everybody would show how much opposition she must have faced to actually come to a war-torn part of London. And uh, she started work in the John Innes Institution before she was headhunted by the RHS and she moved to Wisley, starting her post on the 1st of October 1956 with a princely salary of £300 a year. And I did a quick calculation just now, and that was the equivalent of £12,460 per annum or $13,879 which to me is a terrible salary for such a, a world-renowned cytologist. Anyway, that's off the point. Um, 
So uh, she immediately began working as soon as she arrived at Wisley. And she'd been tasked with treating a number of organisms, sorry, ornamental plants, for, with colchicine to try and uh, increase diploid numbers. And uh, she also coached students, including the famous, or later the famous botanist, Constant, Constance Erdley, who worked in Australia. Uh, not only that, she also put on displays for the RHS Chelsea Flower Show, uh, spoke at international conferences and did an awful lot more besides. She remained with the RHS until 1951 after she had been headhunted by Nehru, the Prime Minister of India, and this was to return to India to head up the Botanical Survey of India. And this is where she remained until 1984 when she died. Okay, I'm going to do an unashamed plug. If you want to read more about E.K. Janaki and Mal, we recently did a, a blog for the Natural Science Collections Association and it's all about her life, especially at Wisley. And it was written by my colleague Mandeep and also one of our horticultural heroes in the UK, broadcaster Matt Biggs. If you just do a Google search on Natska and Janaki or Amal, you'll find it quite easily. But I'd better say thank you because I'm probably short of time. <laughs> Uh, due to scheduling changes, we will resume at 3.35.